What is going on guys, it's Amit and you're watching DevDreamer. In this lesson, we're going to learn all about the difference between var, let and const. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Also be sure to ring that bell and choose all notifications so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson 38. So in this lesson, we're going to learn all about the difference between the var, let and const keywords. Now I must stress that we're not done with functions yet, in fact what we'll learn in this and the following lessons is going to really help us to understand some key concepts of functions. So throughout this series we've been using the let and const keywords whenever we want to declare a variable, mainly the let keyword. However before we had let and const we had the var keyword and in fact if you take a look at some old JavaScript files you'll see the var keyword being used throughout. Here's a quick example, we simply say var age is assigned the value of 18. And let's also say var first name is assigned the value of John. We use template literals here. And we're going to say first name is age is old. Let's go ahead and save. And this all works just as we expected. It says John is 18 years old. So for years, var was the only way to declare a variable. But then with JavaScript's ES6 update, we were introduced to two new variables called let and const. Now let is similar to var in that they can both be reassigned, but const, which is short for constant, cannot be reassigned. Now reassignment is only one of the differences between var, let and const. Let's take a look at all of the main differences between the three. Okay, so in this table then, we can see that there are four main differences between var, let and const. We'll be covering these in detail over the next few lessons. And once again, I want you to bear in mind that what we'll learn, especially in relation to those last two columns there, scope and hoisting, is very important when it comes to functions. So in this lesson, we'll cover the first two columns, can be reassigned and can be redeclared. And then in the next couple of lessons, we'll look at both scope and hoisting in detail. Okay, so let's start with reassignment. As you can see, it says that var and let can be reassigned, but const cannot be reassigned. Let's take a look at some examples and make sense of that. So let's get rid of all this. And let's start by using var again to create a variable. So I'm just going to say var game is assigned the value of Sonic. Let's now go ahead and reassign this variable. So we're going to say game is assigned the value of Mario this time. And let's console.game and see what we get. Okay, so as you can see, using var, we are able to reassign our variable values. First, it was assigned the value of Sonic, and then we reassign that to Mario. So as you can see, variables created with var can be reassigned. Now let's try the let variable. So let's change this to let. And as you can see in the console, the same can be said of let. It also can be reassigned. First we had Sonic, and then we reassign that to Mario. So both var and let can be reassigned. Now let's try the const keyword. So let's change this to const. And now in the console, we get an error. Remember, a const creates a variable that cannot be changed. So variables declared with const cannot be reassigned. The console throws an error. So when it comes to reassignment, var and let can be reassigned, but const cannot be reassigned. So we should always use const when we know that our variable value will not change. This also provides some level of security because we know that this variable cannot later be overridden and reassigned to something else. Okay, so that's reassignment. Now let's take a look at whether these variables can be redeclared. So let's get rid of this and paste this in. So once again, we're starting with var. And what we've done here is we haven't just reassigned our game variable, but we've actually redeclared the variable again by using the var keyword for a second time. So now if we console log this, let's see what we get. Okay, so once again, using var, we can reassign variables and we can redeclare variables. If we change this to let, this doesn't work, this gives us an error. So that's the first major difference between var and let. They can both be reassigned, but only var can be redeclared, let cannot. And of course, let's try this with const as well. And you can probably guess what's gonna happen here. We of course get an error. Remember, const should only be declared once. Once that's done, we can't then redeclare or even reassign a const. So as you can see, var, let and const certainly have their differences in how they can be used. Now, why is it that we had this change? Why go from var, which could be reassigned and redeclared, to variables, let and const, that aren't as flexible? Isn't it better to make sure our variables are more flexible? Well, the answer in fact is no. Think about it. If you had variables that could be reassigned and redeclared at any time, then your JavaScript wouldn't really be secure. 
someone else could come along and use the same variable name and throw the whole thing off. So going forward, you should always, always favor using let and const, just like we've been doing throughout this series, over using var, which is the old way of writing variables. And when it comes to knowing when to use let and when to use const, it's simple. Use const when you have a variable that you know will never change its value. And for anything else, use let. So that's it for this lesson, guys. We've covered the first two differences between var, let and const, reassignment and redeclaration. Let's go ahead and summarize. So for years, we used the var keyword to declare a variable, but with the ES6 update, we gained two new variables, let and const. There are four main differences between var, let and const, reassignment, redeclaration, scope and hoisting. When it comes to reassignment, var and let can be reassigned, but const cannot. For redeclaration, var can be redeclared, but both let and const cannot be redeclared. And finally, it's important to ensure that going forward, we always favor the use of let and const over var. Okay, task time. Let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson. Okay, so two tasks for this lesson. For task number one, I want you to create a variable called current year and then use the date function to get the current year. Be sure to use the right type of variable and then go ahead and log this to the console. And for task number two, I want you to create another variable called username and then assign this to dreamer123, log this to the console and then update that username to anything you like. Once again, be sure to use the right variable. Okay guys, so go ahead and pause the video, try these out and when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. Okay, so how'd you get on then? Let's see. So for task number one then, we need to create a variable called current year. So here then, I'm going to use const and this is going to be called current yeah, and to get the current year, we simply say new date with a capital D, and then we say dot get full year. Okay, so now then we have our const variable which holds the current year. So now we just simply need to log this to the console, and we get 2021 in the console. For task number two, we need to create another variable called username, and then assign this to dreamer123, and then we need to update the username to anything you like. Now, because we're updating the username to something else, of course, we can't use const because const can't be reassigned or redeclared. We don't want to be using var because it's the old way of writing variables. So we want to use, of course, the let keyword. Let's log this to the console. So console.log username. Okay, we get dreamer123. And then we need to update this username to something else. Now, remember, what we don't want to do is redeclare this variable that will give us an error. Remember, let cannot be redeclared, but it can be reassigned. So we just use the variable name again. Let's say username and let's set this to, I don't know, let's say Harry Potter. Okay, let's go ahead and console log this again. Okay, perfect. So we have successfully created a username and then updated that username to something else and we've done so using the let keyword. Okay guys, so that's it for this lesson. We've covered those first two differences between var, let and const, reassignment and redeclaration. In the next lesson, we're going to be learning about something that is very important to understand in JavaScript and that is scope. So that's coming up next, really important lesson. Then of course, after that, we'll look at hoisting. Once again, guys, if you are not subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button down below. That really does help me out. Click that like button. Also comment and share, and I'll see you on the next one.